You heard it yourself. I'm gonna choose her summer TBR. We wanna say a big thanks to you guys. Superstar, a secret agent, a once in a lifetime mission. Oh, I love that. I relinquish, relinquish control of my book choices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see? <laughs> no, I was trying to hide it. Hey bookworms! It's mom aka Sarah and Char. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> so you're gonna tell them what we're gonna do today? Exactly. Okay, so mom is going to be picking out a book for me to read right now from my summer TPR mm. or just from my whole bookshelf because I am lost right now. I don't exactly know what I want to read and I just really want to pick up a book though. Yeah guys, so you heard it yourself from her mouth, I'm gonna be the one responsible for her summer TBR. I'm gonna choose her summer TBR at least for the month. Am I choosing one book or two? Um, choose two. So I can't have a choice because, I don't know, it's like even if you have that single book that you're going to read, you're mm -hmm. like, I would wanna read another one maybe. So yeah. you have to have some choice. That's true. So that's what we're gonna do. I just kind of plop this hat on my head. If you guys are confused, let me clear that up real quick. I know you guys saw my hair and it's been different a bunch of times, but I did it real quick in between and I wasn't loving it, so I took care of that. And that's why I have this temporary, and I and I say temporary, if you you know temporary style. If you don't know me, I change my hair a lot. <laughs> I do. So um, that's what's up. And I just wanted my hat was just super dusty. I'm like, we need to get the dust goth. Anyways, we're gonna be choosing Char's TBR. I'm so excited, Char, because me you're too. giving me a lot of control. I'm giving you a lot of control, but I love, one thing about me, I love surprises. I actually really do. You do. So I'm just like, yeah, give it to me, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm okay going in a little blind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for starters, I think I showed you guys that we have this little mini bookshelf in our living room. I use it to house a lot of my books. I currently have this as like my main summer TBR stack. And yeah, there's this bear. This is for my birthday. It came on like some flowers, so we decided to put it there for now. Anyways, this is like my summer TBR. And I don't know if I really ever did a video, so I'll touch base on it because it's prone to change. I also have this area over here with complete books that are summer reads. Yeah, so we were supposed to do a video on our summer TBR. I don't, it hasn't been out yet. I know we're so bad, but so much has been going on. So I'm gonna show you Char's summer TBR real quick. But before we get into that, we wanna say a big thanks to you guys for helping us reach 1K subscribers. Yes, guys, that is so exciting. We started off this journey not knowing that it was gonna go anywhere like that. Like, to just think it's grown, our channel's grown that fast is crazy. And so we just wanna say a big, big thank you to all of you who've shown so much love and support to us on our channel. We uh, really we, appreciate you guys. Yeah. We love you guys so much. Yeah. And Honestly, it's still just like, it's still crazy to think that we're actually there now. Exactly. The support on like booktube is just amazing. Like it's just amazing to think that we can all kind of just bond and share such a love over books exactly. and reading on a whole. It's and such an amazing community because whether or not you even agree, it's still just amazing to even share that bond over books. And, and we can show up being our authentic selves. Like, <laughs> we're just showing up talking about books that we really love and books that we may have not liked or, you know, things like that. And you got, and taking you guys along the journey, whether we thrift a book, whether we go shopping at the bookstore for it, whatever it is, it's just really cool that we can take you guys along and you guys are enjoying what we're posting. So we really appreciate you guys. We really just appreciate you in general, but we really, are just so grateful to be able to to say we're at 1k Shar is doing a quick little check just to get you the real-time numbers we're currently sitting at what 1115 subscribers that is so darn cool <laughs> thanks again guys we love you and appreciate you much love you should <laughs> yeah so Shar's TBR are stored up there, but we're gonna get them back because they're so high you exactly. will not be able to see okay we'll take this, this stuff down first Oh my, oh my goodness. See, this is why you can put them all the way up there because you're the tallest one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Tempest of tea. We got assistant to the villain. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. I can't. 
the Evernote Powerless and Powerful. Mm -hmm. Second one already released this month, and I haven't even read the first. Like, oh my gosh! But you have them in your possession, so I know exactly. you might be reading them soon. A hey, yeah. Tweet cute, y'all. I picked this one up yesterday when I had no idea what and. I read like a page, mm -hmm. <laughs> like a single page. And I'm like, I don't know if I really might get into this one right now. So there's that. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This is high in my TV. <laughs> hey, hey, the Naturals, Stars and Smoke. And the last two here, The One Who Loves Me and The Age of Fire. So there's a whole lot of fantasy and Actually, yeah, mostly fantasy books right here. And then you've got this cute little bookmark from Linda. Thank you so much, Linda. Oh my, it's so cute. I love it. And it's so true. It's not hoarding if it's books. <laughs> That's education right there. We're, you know, we're reading. <laughs> okay, so I'm literally trying to decide. I could, I don't know what to kind of base this on. Is it just basing it straight up on... Char, or am I basing it on the fact that I could choose a book that she might have to be stuck reading with me? Okay, I'm not that what? cruel. I'm not that cruel. <laughs> We're gonna be tandem reading, but I don't want to do that. I want to choose something good for her because right now I just started a book that I'm really loving, and I want you to do the same. Oh, it is so hard. Yes. I know that she's wanted to read The Naturals for so long. That's why we got this series, girl. This is what happens when you have a lot of books. You can feel overwhelmed and not know which direction to go in because you just have so many options. So, I mean, oh, so cute. It all fits. Aww. So currently these are her options. Hmm. What is this one about? It's like Superstar. Oh yeah, Superstar, a secret agent, a once in a lifetime mission. Oh, I love that. I love stuff like that. Oh. And the cover. Oh my goodness. The cover is really cute. I know you really wanted to read Age of Fire by Eden Ross. Hmm. Oh. I feel like I'm leaning towards this one. Because this one sounds really good. I know Assistant to the Villain was pretty good too. I heard good things about this one. Right? Yeah. It sounds hilarious, like from the back. Okay, okay. okay. Should I check out your books downstairs first? Yeah, here you go. <laughs> let's go, let's go. So while she already chose these on the Summer TBR, I just want to go double check the bookshelves to see if there are nothing else down there. Any possible choices? Any possible choices. Why are all these little no, mats, mats here? <laughs> okay. This is so distracting. Let's go. So in case you're wondering where we're going, we're going downstairs because that's where our books are. That's where our rec room is and we have the just the extra space down there to create um a bigger library more of the size that we want or to, to kind of like hold all the books that we have exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay let's go because this is where we have all of our main books not even just our books but also the little kids yeah oh yeah that's true because our space down here in our basement is divided up and the kids have their playroom over there we will not show you their book um, shelf, their bookshelf is actually not bad, but their playroom is a hot mess. So just dis disregard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So we're currently at Charlotte's bookshelf. And of course, the AC comes on while we're down here. We came Gosh. down and we found a couple of our books are curled. I don't know. I think it's the, the, the air, the air because here? it's cooler down here. It flipped. Yeah. It kind of um, did this to the book. So be weary of that. We're just, we just kind of flipped it upside down for it to... These will have to out. somehow. Yeah, put them underneath, exactly. Charlotte and I were saying that a lot of her books on our shelves are so much darker. Like, I don't think a lot of your books scream summery to me. No. <laughs> a lot of my books are fantasy, dystopia, mystery, and. I mean, I do have a couple little fluffy reads, yeah. but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Even some of my romance reads, they are like dystopia. Yeah. So, we got that going on. <laughs> Are there any more summer reads that are on you? Oh, you have like these selections, but yeah, those selection. are like, are those like romance? That, oh yeah, those are romance for sure. Definitely it's like romance. Bachelor or something. Oh, okay. So I try to, so this is like, like sci fi, well, not all sci fi because I have like The Hobbit in there, which is yeah. like the least sci fi book I can think of. Yeah. But um, this is some of my dystopia as well. I have 
the Divergent series. You're gonna have to do a book tour, girl. You're gonna have to do a book tour. Uh, oh, yeah. but I know that she had a bunch of these on her list that she wanted to read. You read The Opposite of Always already? Yep. Okay. And did you read these ones? No, that's the third one. So oh. I have the second one upstairs. Oh, so okay. So that'll be the next one in line. Did you read this one? The one who knows yeah. me? That's the one you really like? That one you, was so good. That what did you rate cry. that one? That was a five star. Oh, she rated this one a five star, guys. I want to read that, that one, one too. Cry. Not many books make me cry, but that one was heartfelt. Yeah. Oh, and you still have, you have like Love Radio. This is kind of summary. I do have that, yeah. This kind of screams summary to me. Right? Sugar Town. This kind of screams. Um, this kind of screams summer to me too. Very vibrant. I love vibrant and colorful. That one got really good ratings, I think. So after getting a proper glimpse, guys, ignore the back, ignore the top of her shelves. We're currently working on that down here. But after getting a glimpse of your like shelf down here, would you prefer to stick with your selection upstairs, or do you see any down here that you want to add to the selection? I don't. I honestly don't know. That's the thing. This is why I need help picking. <laughs> I just like, there's just so many things I, I could just pick up. Mm -hmm. But, like, in my history of just reading so many books at the same time, it makes me just get into a reading slump and I don't read any of them. Mm. And it's so bad. Okay, okay, so. Okay, so honestly, that being said, I think we're gonna head back upstairs. And I feel like I kind of know what I'm gonna choose. I feel like I know what you're gonna choose. Yeah. I think I know what I'm gonna choose. So let's go up there and choose it. Them. Okay guys, so before I show you what books I chose for Char, we're gonna just touch base real quick on the books that we just wrapped up together. Last time we left off, we told you guys we were reading The Housemates together and we finished this in like, I don't even know how many days it took us. In like, I think three days. We all wrap this up. My other daughter was in on it too. I may have touched this base, we may have touched base on that in another video briefly, but we weren't done the book yet. We both gave this book five star. All three of us gave this book a five star. Such a good read, oh my gosh. Read it. She knows how to write, okay? Yes, she, she does. This is our second Freedom McFadden book, right? Yeah. Based on the last one that, I, that we'd read from her, mm -hmm. that we had read by her, Never Lie, I yeah. knew that you obviously can't take things at face value with thrillers, but even then, she creates all these twists, you know? And yeah. Plot twists. So, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Good. With Never Lie, it was fast paced. I just love it because they're very fast paced and they yeah. move. They keep you, um, we're trying to use the light from the computer. <laughs> They keep you super intrigued the whole time, and they're like twists and turns. We, I guess, when did we anticipate the ending of this? Like, were we, were we? We kind we of figure, knew. We, we kind of figured, figured it out. out. But mm -hmm. even then, like, there is a kind of shock factor. I love thrillers that get super crazy. You yeah, know? I feel like that's just the thing. Yeah. Like, that's the difference between like thrillers and mysteries. Thrillers yeah. they get crazy and intense, and yeah. you're like, yes. And it's not like, yeah, because it's like a mystery you're more like trying to solve, but this yeah. isn't like you are trying to figure it out, but you don't necessarily have to. You just read for fun and figure it out. And it just kind of, it's like, whoa, yeah, exactly. Type, you know, shock factors pop up. So we definitely enjoyed that a ton. That's why we both jumped into book number two. Okay, so we're holding three books here, but we still actually have another one because there are four of us in our household currently reading this and it's it ju we just started. So we are only one chapter in and right away it already starts kind of crazy. So I'm curious to know where this Housemaid series is going to go. Exactly. I didn't really read the back because I've been trying, especially now that I've already read the first one, I kind of know what the Housemaid series are about. I'm still of that... Um, nature to want to jump into the book cold oh you know, just like completely blind completely and, blind yeah that way i can get more of a shock factor, a shock factor. Mm -hmm. so i didn't read the back on purpose and i'm yeah the first chapter already got us i'm like oh my gosh here we go crazy <laughs> and i just the books are also so funny yeah just the humor in it like I the main the character humor. millie she is She's hilarious at times. Mm -hmm. So that is where we are. <laughs> we had to switch location really quick because the lighting over there was just not, it's just not giving. So 
Anyways, um, we just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of what we've been reading or what we just started reading. For me, I think in the last video I showed you guys that I was reading Seven Days in June and I really, and this is by Tia Williams. I think I stated this is my first time reading her. I do have two books for her. Yeah. Because I have a love song by Ricky Wilde. Exactly. A yeah. love song to Ricky Wilde. I don't remember exactly the title, but the idea is I have both these books by this author and I still have not read any of them yet. So I really wanted this one to be on the book list for the summer. However, I don't know. It's just like trying to get into it is so hard. And I think I just explained that to you guys in my last video. So I kind of DNF'd it for a little bit. I don't think, it's not like I don't think I'm ever going to pick it up. I might even pick it up in the background sometime. I just don't feel like reading it right now. Just the beginning parts of it is just not giving what I was anticipating for my summer read. Yeah. So I think that's the struggle. I think for summer, I'm thinking like beach read, fun read. Like fluff. Suffy, like. yeah, suffy, oh my gosh. Summery, fluffy reads. Those types of reads are what I felt, I think in my heart I felt for. So yeah. that being said, I kind of dnf that and I picked up this and this one is it. Got, like, got, this one's so good so far. I haven't actually discussed this book with you yet because generally as I'm reading, I discuss the books with Sharp. This one just, it killed me at the beginning. It just starts off, oh, I don't want to spoil it for everyone. There might be a little bit of spoiler, but yeah. it starts off with the girl divorcing um, her guy of like three years or whatever. And honestly, like it just doesn't even sound like she was that into him because <laughs> there's stuff that she just didn't even know. I was just like, girl, you don't know how tall he is. Anyways, there's just this one part inside the book that just had me laughing because like she's working for like a gas station or convenience store or something along the lines and she took a package of gum yeah and didn't put the money in she said she didn't have the money in immediately to put yeah. in the till and she the guy basically fired her the next day <laughs> even though she's been working there for a long time and she just thought like they're like family at this point no, no, so I just thought that was kind of weird how like everything kind of started for her like a pack of gum really pack of gum a pack of oh. gum yeah so far it's just kind of conversations with herself for the most part but i just love the fact that it's just like funny it's fun and i can tell that it's probably going to be a really good book i've heard a lot of great things about this one everyone says it's a good five star read and yeah i'm i'm feeling that so what are you currently reading because this girl's been in and out of books yeah okay so the last two or three books that i read were mm -hmm. all ebooks and, and, and sorry if you can hear that. That's our rabbit in the background. Like, he is doing too much. He, he is doing too much. The last two or three books that I read were all on ebook. Mm -hmm. And right now I am currently reading The Marrow Thieves. This is actually for school because I'm doing summer school right now, guys. But the second one is The Housemaid. We're already that together. we're just starting, yeah. And so this is where the fun comes in. Or are you reading another one? The third one that I was reading. Oh my gosh. Was The Standing. That yeah, you had you read. said it was so good. Oh, I forgot about that. I recommended that one to her and she said it was so good. So what so happened? Good. I don't know why. I just like lost steam because I think I think it's all the ebooks. Like I haven't been really reading physical books for yeah, myself. Yeah. And I really need a physical to help me get through other ebooks, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. I totally get that mm -hmm. because when I'm doing when I'm doing too much and I'm doing like audio books, I was yeah. at a point where I was really listening to audios when I was doing stuff and then I just got to a point where I just kept kept forgetting. But I don't know if I was really just forgetting or if it's just I was kind of losing interest. Yeah. In kind of listening to audiobooks sometimes. I really love reading my books. So I like when I feel like it's doing too much, I kind of sim like I can feel it, yeah, and exactly. I get a tug back in the certain a certain direction. So I haven't. I listened to one audiobook recently. Oh, I, seven days in June. You were listening. Oh, to that seven audio. days. Oh, okay. When I was getting in a slump with reading this, which I'm shocked. I'm on page sixty one with this one, and when I found that I was in a little bit of a slump, I did start listening to the audio, but it wasn't doing it. It didn't like the audio itself isn't. That, that bad it's not bad I shouldn't say it's bad I just it wasn't like doing anything for me sometimes that can happen like the audio pulls me right out of the funk yeah. and I'm like oh my gosh like it's so you know but it still wasn't doing it that I DNF that so yeah it is what it is sometimes but I want to get caught up in July because we're already the ninth 
we're in the 9th of Ju July and June was a crazy chaotic month for us between all of our birthdays and Father's Day and anniversaries and all these different things even though I mean I didn't do anything going to certain things but just like it was just like a lot on the mind yeah. all the time as yeah. well as some of the time, things that we actually had to do in person it was just a lot and graduation one of our sisters graduated and and you know yeah it was just it was a lot pretty hectic. so my reading for june was not that stellar what would in yours uh i think it was okay because the month prior i was in a reading slump i read one book yeah and so i really tried in june but i read books at the beginning of the month and like finished one at the very end and, okay. so nothing in between kind of mm -hmm. yeah i read four books in june or i read yeah i read three and i listened to one on audio mm -hmm. so that's how that went and right now i feel like july started off slow because the month is just sailing by and we haven't picked up and i haven't read a ton so yeah. anyways that's to get you all caught up, that's where we are. And now I'm gonna be, now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna show you the book that I picked for Shark. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. So excited. Okay. Oh, did you see? <laughs> no! I was trying to hide it and then we got distracted. Anyways, okay, whatever, sure. Okay, whatever, <laughs> whatever. The two books that I chose for Charlotte are these. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I have there's a rhyme and reason behind it, Charlotte. I chose this one. It's called A Good Girl's Guide to Murder because I know she really wanted to read this one. Yeah. Let's see, can you see it? It's been on her TBR for a minute, I think. I got or, it for my birthday. Or okay, so but I knew but I knew you wanted to read it. Yeah. So, anyways, there you go. Thank you. Oh. Must read. And then I got this one. <laughs> I got this one to kind of balance that one out. Yeah. Because like I don't, I don't, you know. Anyways, this one's called The One Who Loves Me. And this is a book that I chose for Charlotte when we first got into reading. And I know she wanted to read romance. And like I've mentioned before, being like, you know, a Christian mom and just being a Christian, like, it's always tug and war sometimes with like choosing books. You want to choose books that are not too far out there, that too crazy or are too far out there into the world. You know? Yeah, like you right. Want there yeah. to be like structure and some foundation exactly to each their own but she's still growing and she's as much as you know right from wrong and all those things i'm a firm believer in like books and those types of things can leave an impression on someone yeah. and so you still have to be mind ollie that's our <laughs> rabbit you still have to be mindful of the things that you consume so i'm not fully sure like i've seen this book and i a few times i was like oh i don't know about the title but here we are. I heard that it's clean for the most part, right? Yeah. It's a clean version, yeah. a clean YA, so it doesn't have a lot of smut, smutty stuff and all that stuff. So the rest I feel like you can handle. I'm not, I don't feel any type of way about the rest of the stuff. But then I thought, why not, why not balance it out with a nice book? And this one is from a Christian's perspective. It's a Christian romance and she's read the first one. You gave it a five star. First one was so good. Oh yeah. And you like, why did you like it? Oh, because the characters and like the, obviously the romance aspect, but also there's a lot, obviously they're, they're both Christians, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of your beliefs and the main girl struggled a little bit with believing how God could, I don't know, like do sp like some things, you know, or like why things weren't going her way. Mm -hmm. And it really helped to dig deep into questions that obviously a lot of people do have yeah, Christianity yeah. and it was real it was really nice I really liked it a lot it made me cry <laughs> it was so it was so like heartwarming and heartfelt and I love it a lot okay so I thought that would be a very good balance with this I got her this book basically we started this channel back in January and I think you got this book in January I got it for you for Christmas right yeah yeah, yeah I got her book this book for Christmas I got her the set of three so yeah i am very excited for her to read these two and i guess when we do our next like reading vlog she'll keep you posted on just how it's going and how she's enjoying them so the title of this one's called the one who loves me by joan ambola i'm not sure any what else she has um 
written is she like an indie author yeah she's yeah. an indie author and i love the feel of this book it's like sweet right it feels really yeah. nice so, so yeah that is it for today's video anything you want to say what do you think of my picks are they okay paradise problems i think i'm gonna have charlotte choose my next book because i'm only currently i think you chose very well because i know i'm gonna get through this fast because it's a thriller Thrillers, yeah mm, that's what i kind of thought too yeah and then this is just gonna be so nice to balance it out as you said you know and just I'm so excited. And then honestly, like the books that you had there, it was very tough choice because the books that you have there, they look all so good. And I just know that once you, you're not in a reading slump too, I think you're just gonna get through the rest like super fast because they're just like, they all look really fun. Exactly, like <laughs> and, fast paced. And fast paced, yeah. yeah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I think we're gonna do a version for me, even though I'm currently reading, reading Paradise Problem as well as The Housemaids, the second Housemaids book in the series because yeah just been kind of having a slow month so i haven't really even given it thought as to what my next book's gonna be so it'll be really fun having charlotte choose the one for me oh my gosh oh my gosh you have to go stand and look it's gonna at be so that. hard to relinquish relinquish control of my book choices That, I am gonna be so excited for. The mood reading, and the mood reader in me is like, yeah. sweating my, I'm like sweating already. That's the thing, like mood reading, like, you think you know exactly what you feel in the mood for too, but sometimes it just makes you confused. Yeah. <laughs> I was so confused, yeah. but thank you so much for choosing my books. Oh, well, thank you for Very trusting happy. me. Anyways, guys, we thank you so much for watching. Like I said, like we both said, thank you so much for helping us get to 1K. Uh, we love and appreciate you guys all. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content. And thank you so much for watching. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.